What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Uh-uh. 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 Girl. One minute. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thanks for checking your girl out. So we are on look number three featuring the Jackie Ina palette. I think I finally decided that I'm going to do a total of six looks featuring this palette. Not to say that this palette can only give you six looks, but I think that's what I am going to do for the series. So six looks. So we are on three of six. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I know today I want to play with sponsored. Sponsored. Yeah. I want to play with sponsored. Okay, Anastasia, sponsor you, girl. <coughs> Ready to go. Ready to go. Okay. I have a whole new setup right now, guys. You should see how messed up my room looks just for me to be able to film this video comfortably. I am not looking forward to the cleanup after this, but, but, on the name of YouTube and Consistence. Um, I'm going to take the color Ginger. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna take the color gin ginger, ginger. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that into my crease. I was kind of deciding, debating whether or not I should go with edges, which is more of an orangey um, brown color, but I think I'm just gonna do ginger because I do like it because it's more of a neutral brown for me. Boom! So ginger has been applied. In the crease, I'm gonna take credit. I'm gonna use the brush that came with the palette. Just add some depth to my outer V before applying sponsored. I'm trying my best to keep it just right in the outer V because I have a tendency to be like oh I'm gonna put it in the outer V and it ends up all the way in my crease all the way in my crease but I don't really want that look so I'm just gonna take my time and really just pat it and place the color where I want it to be and then I'm gonna blend it you already know I'm gonna go ahead with my NYX glitter primer base so now that that's been applied I'm gonna go ahead and apply a sponsored on my lid Ooh. Oh, this color is beautiful. I already knew I would love this color because I don't know if you guys remember the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, but it had a color very similar to this, but I think it had a lot more brown in it, and I used that to death. I hit pan on everything. I know I love colors like this. I love dual chrome colors. I love the shift. I love the dimension that it adds to my lid look at that look at that it's so beautiful i kind of want to spice it up just a little bit more so i'm going to be taking duolas right here i'm just going to use that and apply it on top of that color with my fingers i'm just going to put it on top of that give it even more dimension yeah that's beautiful all right so i went ahead and did my base off camera and i'm actually going to be taking a black eyeliner and i'm just going to line my top lash line before applying my lashes I'm just gonna do a little wing. So I went ahead and applied my lashes in the Lash Style Renee. It's from my brand, Chop the Shay, Chop the Shay. And this is what they look like. One moment. <laughs> this is what they look like. They're very nice, they're very natural, and they're very wispy. So that's the lash. Um, for my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a lip liner. This is the lip liner in Espresso from NYX. It's pretty much down to almost a stub. Just gonna line my lips. Then I'm gonna take my lipstick from MAC in the color Photo. Just gonna apply that onto my lips. And on top of that, I'm gonna use my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. And I'm gonna put that right into the center. Okay, so we're doing things a little backwards. I almost completely forgot to finish my eyes. I kind of like it just like this actually like with nothing on the lower lash line but just to add a little bit more depth I'm just gonna be taking just a tiny bit of credit and just running that along my lower lash line not much not much at all like literally the smallest amount I feel like this look could use an inner titter pop so that's what we're gonna do um, see I'm having a hard time picking between soleil and trust issues and I want to do Soleil simply because I haven't used it, but I feel like Trust Issues would best suit this look, just because it's that um, yellow gold. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to go with Trust Issues. It just, it's just going to look the best to me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that on a little uh, brush. This one is from NYX. And Trust Issues does have a lot of fallout, y'all. Last time I used it in the first tutorial, I swear to God I had glitter all over my body. But it actually looks really good as a, as a body glitter highlight. 
just saying all right so this is the final book i really really love the way that it came out i love colors like this on my eyes i just i can't get enough of these colors out of all the looks i've done so far i have to say that this is my favorite which you know could change because the series is not over but i definitely feel like this is my favorite but yeah this is the third look in the installment out of six i'm really really enjoying my jackie Anna palette so far and i'm really excited to see what other look I can come up with next. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and remember to like, and I'll see you in my next video. Alright, bye! Whoa, sis, that is not okay. So, what we're not gonna do is act like that's not a problem. That's not what we're gonna do.